Hey everyone, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this type of simple looking text animation into the Avenger Resolve 15. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to create a new project. So click on this new project and let's rename it to text animation and click on create okay now we have to change some settings so click on this setting button and change this timeline frame rate 24 to 30 fps and set this playback frame rate 30 fps and set this resolution 1920 to 1080 and go to this optimize media and render cast and check this box and this one also for a smoother render preview and click on save all right now go to the toolbox and here is generator and here is solid color so drag this solid color to the timeline okay and now set the duration of this solid color something around three second so just drag this solid color something like that and right click on this solid color and here is new compound clip so click on this option and let's rename it to text and click on create okay and then click on this fusion tab and here we get these nodes so right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and just delete this media in okay and drag this media out over here and just increase the size of this flow window and now we have to take a background node so click on this background button and add a background and drag this background to the viewer okay and now let's rename it so right click on this and here is rename so click on this and rename it to a stroke and click on ok ok now select this stroke and press ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for paint node so this is our paint node click on add and drag this paint to the viewer ok now select this paint and here is polyline stroke so click on this option and increase the size of this uh, preview window and right click on this preview window and here is guide option so check this show guide and now create a shape something like something like that okay and then go to this inspector tab and here is brush control so expand this option and here is size so set the size of this stroke something around 0 0.01 and hit enter and set this softness value 0 and then click on this brush control and click on this apply control also and expand this stroke control okay and go to the end of this animation and right click on this end option and click on animate and right click on start also and click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and set this value zero so it's looking something like that and go to the beginning of this animation again and right click on this start click on set key and go to the end of this animation and set this value something like that now click on this spline window and click on this three dot and here is select one tool so click on this option and click on this fit button and increase the size of this flow window and click on this fit button again and select this keyframe and click on this smoother button and create a curve something like so and click on this end also click on this fit button select this keyframe click on this smooth and create a curve something like that okay now close this spline window and let's check this so it's looking nice okay and now we have to take a background node again so click on this background button and add a background node and let's rename it to color so press f2 on the keyboard and rename it to color and hit enter and now we have to take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and uh, connect this yellow point to this paint and green point to this color and drag this merge to the viewer okay and drag this color to the viewer and select this color node and uh, here is type so change this solid color to gradient 
okay and set this gradient value something like that and select this and pick a color something like that select this stroke and here is alpha so set this alpha 0 and drag this merge 1 to the viewer and select this merge and here is operator option so change this over to in so now it's looking something like that okay and now we have to create a text node so click on this text button and add a text node and drag this text to the viewer and type your text whatever you want to type so i'm typing clean text okay and change this font style to arial and set this bold to regular and now we have to create a matte node so click on this bg button again and add a background and select this background node and press f2 on the keyboard and let's rename it to matte and hit enter and now drag this merge to the viewer and set this cti over here and now select this mat and click on this polygon button and add a polygon mask okay and right click on this option and click on remove polygons okay and draw a polygon something like that okay now drag this mat over here and take a merge node so click on this merge button place it over here and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this text and drag this merge to to the viewer and now set this text according to this mat so okay and then click on this merge and here is operator so change this over to in okay and now let's animate this text so select this text and go to the end of this animation and click on this layout and here is center so right click on center click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and drag this text something like that and click on this spline window and check this text one okay and click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and create a curve something like that okay and just close this spline okay now let's merge this text and this stroke so take a merge node connect this yellow point to this merge one and green point to this merge two and drag this merge three to the viewer and hold alt and create a junction okay and now let's check this okay okay now we have to create another text so click on this text button and add a text node and drag this text to the viewer and type your second text so i'm typing animation okay and change this open sounds to arial okay and now select this mat and polygon node press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v okay and select this polygon right click over here and click on remove polygon one okay now select this node and paste it over here now take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this text and drag this merge 4 to the viewer and select this text and set this text something like that okay and select this merge 4 and here is operator so change this over to in and now let's merge this text so take a, another merge connect this yellow point to this merge 3 and green point to this merge 4 and drag this merge 5 to the viewer okay okay now let's animate this second text so select this text and go to the end of this animation and click on this layout right click on center click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and drag this text something like that okay and then click on this spline window and check this text 2 and click on this option here select this keyframe 
press S to smooth, hold this handle and create a curve, something like show. And close this spline window. And now let's check this. Okay, now select this color and press Ctrl C to copy and right click over here and paste instance and drag this instance node over here and deattach this connection okay and take a merge node and connect this yellow point to this merge 4 and green point to this instance color and drag this merge 6 to the viewer and select this merge 6 and here is operator so change this over to in so now it's looking something like so and connect this green point to this merge 6 and then drag this merge 5 to the viewer and now click on this fit button okay so it's looking something like that okay now take a transform node so select this merge and click on this transform button and add a transform node drag this transform to the viewer and set this text in center and then right click on this preview window and here is guide so uncheck this so guide okay and then connect this media out with this transform one so just connect the output of this transform one with this media out and drag this media out to the viewer and now let's check the color of this gradient so select this color and okay and then click on this edit tab and now it's looking nice okay now let's uh, create a duplicate and reverse this animation so select this and press ctrl c to copy and place this cti over here and press ctrl v to paste and right click on this second clip and here is a uh, change clip a speed so click on this and check this box reverse a speed and click on change and now it's done so let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye